Hello Donatas, Machi here from HP Airsoft. So today I finished your replica. Uh, sorry it take too long because in the meantime we have several minor uh, software and hardware change inside the engine. But right now you got fully functional, newest software, newest hardware uh, Raven installed in this replica. I have to say that it's uh, it's this replica is quite old, and uh, and based on all this uh, friction here, all these marks, uh, this replica is is doing really hard work <laughs> on the edge of fields, but uh, but it's it's very old um, construction, and uh, it's it's very reliable. It's very very straightforward and and it, the quality inside is 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 good so uh, for your uh, for your record this is the the fully assembled replica i have to change the hop up uh, unit hop up chamber for the for the uh, cnc one right now it's shooting perfectly of course i put my my special hp um, rubber hop up rubber so what what do you uh, need to know about about this replica? What what is functioning? First of all, you have to unscrew this uh, this uh, top top screw of the stock, and you open the stock, and the battery is compartment is inside. Here you have the JST plug-in, the red one, and the perfect fit is. Uh, it's uh, it's this kind of battery. This one is, is a bit too small. Maybe uh, maybe on one day battle it's enough, but it's too small. So my recommendation is to have the this size of the of the battery. Unfortunately, there is uh, no such space, so you have to uh, figure out the 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 shortened one, like 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 the ten centimeters or something. The connection is your JST, so if you want the, the T connection, so you can call me and I can, I can make the soldering of this, of this uh, T connection for you. But we got this, this small G JST, uh, this, this red one, because the, the amperage is, is not, not high. So if you, if you connect it, put it inside here. In fact, the replica is ready to ready to shoot. So you make a selector one, and replica is is shooting. So it's 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 very simple and no not much work to do. So you close it and and it's, it's ready to shoot. What do you what uh, what do you need? Also the uh, HPA source. So I got full complete uh, package for you. This is the tank, and this is the regulator. Regulator is is calibrated for 486, so 100, uh, 490 uh, FPS, so you don't have to change anything. If you want to remove uh, the bottle from the from the remove bottle from the um, from the regulator, you have to just unscrew it. But if if there is a pressure inside, it's it's really hard to unscrew it. So there is an on-off capability here. So you just unscrew it and and just just pop off. That's all. So all you need to know it's here. You have to refill the tank using this fill nipple. You're going to paintball shop. You're going to the dive uh, uh, area, and you you reconnect this uh, refill this this tank here. If it's full, you just you just screw into the. You just screw into the, the regulator like this. It's very simple. And there is a zero on the manometer. So you have to screw in the the regulator from the from the end. That's all and you are ready. You just connect it. No pressure, no 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 the feeling just, just grab it, hold it and connected. That's all. Replica is ready to fire. Fully functioning. We got 18 
rounds per second on full auto and semi work perfectly after finishing the the combat you just unplug the unplug the hose please be careful about the uh, about the dust and dirt here please do not put it on the sand please be careful you you have to be hygienic on this and you unplug the battery because it's, it's slowly draining the battery so you just unplug the battery and put it on the on the on the safety so uh, if you want to change anything inside the, the gun like rate of fire like the selector switch you can have a burst three round burst or, or something you just uh, remove this cap here just unscrew it and you got the you got the the programmator here so this is the this is the rest of of, of your of your compartment on this so this is the program unit you have to plug in into the cable cable is is hided inside the inside the the handle so you have to just remove the remove the uh, plug you just plug in and there is it's very clear sorry it's very clear instruction inside inside the inside the email i will send you the pdf with instruction it's very simple and and you just just click and choose on menu uh, what 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 uh, what is your desire rps or, or whatever and you just plug up and down and it's very very simple it's very clever it's it's it's, it's very simple to, to to maintain this so this one is it's not have to be connected all the time on the on the on the board so so you just please be careful because it's electronics and and keep it in the in the box if you want to change something it's not on the field but but here so that's all that's all your replica uh, everything is fine shoots perfectly i use uh, i use uh, our bb's hp bb's 0 0.32 gram 32 gram uh, and it shoots perfectly 60 70 meters and, and you've got very very clean heat with this with this setup so uh, thank you very much uh, for your interest and uh, and i hope we will see in uh, latvia soon on some big events and see you soon bye bye